Hello again, fellow adventurers. Today's adventure takes us on a quest to find a fish you may or may not know, the Lagodon. Of course, you may know this creature as a pinfish, a relative of sheep's head and other porgies. But we'll not be using a rod and reel to find the Lagodon. Rather, we'll be using one of these, a microscope, to find fossil teeth of a mysterious fish supposed to be closely related to the pinfish. We'll be searching tiny gravel sifted from ancient deposits gathered from the Peace River in South Central Florida. Along the way, we're sure to find the fossil remains of numerous other fish and ancient critters. So off we go. Now to start off this adventure, I gave this photograph of Lagodon fossil teeth to my four grandchildren. I asked them to imagine what an, a Lagodon might look like. Well, Eli thought Lagodon sounded a lot like Megalodon and drew this scary shark. Carly, who is 13, went with a dinosaur theme and created this entirely new extinct creature. Evelyn, who is 11, also went with the dinosaur theme and drew something resembling an apatosaurus. Lily, who is 10, imagined the Lagodon must be very scary and threatening. So we'll see what they think when they see what a Lagodon really looks like. Okay, let the hunt begin. Okay, now let's get down to the search. Okay, well, well, first thing right off, we find this little thing. It looks like a bicycle seat. And uh, that, if you've seen my former videos, you know, is a, a tooth of a uh, stingray. Now, this is not a the pavement teeth, which are the crusher plates that they have in the back of their mouth, but this is right along their lips. Right along their lips, they have these tiny, tiny little teeth. You can judge by the size of the toothpick there. Okay, we look a little bit further. Oh, no, oh there we go. There's the other kind of tooth. <clears throat> that is a pavement tooth. And they are they uh, go together as part of like a crushing plate. Uh, they look like pavement, like bricks in a pavement. Here we go on a little bit further and we find another tooth, another stingray tooth. This is shaped a little bit differently, but it still has those roots, which are those two little barbs sticking up and then a, a flat plate area <laughs> uh, that, you know, that's sort of a, that they use for to, uh, uh, as a sort of a rough uh, uh, surface on their lip to uh, grab things. Didn't have to go too much further to find this uh, shark tooth. Mola, shark tooth. And there's the orientation. The long part is the uh, uh, root. Now it's it's pretty eroded, so we just leave it there. We throw away probably five to ten uh, polished up, broken shark teeth for every one that we keep. And let's see, is there something in here? Oh yeah, it looks like it might be something, but no, not so much. On to the next little tray of teeth. So we get our little plastic tray and we sprinkle some, some uh, uh, gravel from our little, from our jar. And then we, uh, you know, we try to distribute it pretty evenly so we don't have little piles of stuff. Shake it all up to get it, get it fairly uniformly distributed. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby! And let's see what we can find. We just scan across yeah, do a little you know, organized search. And, and eventually we run up and up. Ah, look at there, another pavement tooth. There's the, the stingray teeth that, uh, that are uh, bound together into a crusher plate. Okay, and then the, the smooth part is the top and then the, uh, the bottom part, uh, which is like ridges on it, would be the roof roots. There's the top part and I'm just, I step, the, I uh, wet the toothpick with my tongue and then just these tiny little fossils just adhere to the uh, uh, toothpick. And I can pick them up and move them. Oh, look at there, I see, oh, I passed, I missed it. I missed it, I left a, a tooth, a ray tooth there. But, 
Here's a little something that's interesting. I'll just pull that up, and I think there's something right next to it. It's an interesting thing. I'll just look at it later. Don't know what it is, but it looks odd. So, got that collected. Now, am I going to go back and get that other piece? I forget. Uh, maybe it looks like I'm dang that. Ah, there we go. Another piece. A bunch of little ovals, little things all stuck together. Okay, and here we go. Let's see. What do I got here? Is this one of those little. Uh, yeah, that's. And you see the shiny top. That's another. Uh, another little uh, ray. Uh, tooth. A ray. A tooth. A tooth. Tooth, not a pavement tooth, but the just a regular ray tooth. What else is there? Uh, look at here. Look. That's something. That is, I believe that's a Lagodon tooth. We'll look at that later. We found one already. Now that doesn't look like the rabbit uh, shaped one, but apparently there are two different kinds of Lagodon teeth that, that we find in the fossil record. One doesn't have that shape that is very similar. Okay. And you're down here near the bottom. There's another, another shark tooth. And it looks like we're going to take this one. It has quite a bit of the uh, root intact. Yeah, that looks not too bad. You're taking it? Yeah, we'll keep that one. That's sort of a borderline case. Uh, hey, what else we got? Uh, do, 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 do. I stopped here, so I must have seen. Ah, look at there. Bicycle seat. That's just another. We're finding a whole bunch of these ray teeth. And they had a lot of teeth. And think of where rays live. They live in the muck on the bottom of, the, of, a, of a, like a shallow estuary or a bay. And muck. So they are likely to get fossilized. Oh, I popped around. I chased this around. It's kind of hard working with the toothpick. Yeah, look a little further. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What? Is this something? Yeah, it looks like it's a, probably another ray tooth. I'll go ahead and grab that. Yeah, let's put this one away. We can always save it for later or throw it away if we decide we don't like it. And there's a little something that looks odd. Looks like a. Somebody, maybe the. Some kind of a uh, small bone, maybe a fish uh, uh, spine. You know, so there are things that stick up on the back of the fish. Uh, there, in the middle, of is another. Uh, 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 look at that. That's, is that another uh, ray tooth? Oh my gosh, we're collecting a bunch of these things. Another one? Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Little rabbit. Oop, got it. And I'll try to flip it over, see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab it. We'll go look at it later. I left that shark tooth where it was. Ooh, look at this. is cool. Look at the structure on this thing. And this is a little tube. This isn't a flat thing. This is a tube that looks the same on the other side as it looks on this side. And this, after much search, found out to be the leaf of a cedar tree. You know, they had these leaves that had these little leaflets on it. And so that was a fossilized cedar tree leaf. Okay, next tray. Ooh, look, this, this looks really odd. That's rather, maybe that's some kind of coral or something. It's an interesting structure. Let's grab that. Oops. On the side of it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. We can take that away and look at it later. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that shark tooth. It's just bouncing at you. But the, before we look at the shark tooth, I'm going to check and make sure that some of these round things aren't aren't uh, fish teeth as well. But that is definitely a nice shark tooth. Look at the nutrient groove right at the top of the, right in the middle of the uh, root. Let's see if I can flip this over for you. Should be pretty easy. That 
but uh, the blade of the tooth is curved. We should be able to get underneath it. Let's grab it. Okay. That's another one. That's a nice, nice tooth. Beautiful shape. All right, let's fill up another tray. It's <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Shake it up. Get it distributed. And let's see what we got in this one. Oh, look at there. Shark tooth. Shark! Oh, the shark! Right in the middle. It's got a beefy uh, uh, root and a little cusp on the right hand side there, you can see, sticking out besides the main blade. So that'll be interesting. And yeah, what else? Oh, it's like there, right next to it, just about. There's a a ray pavement tooth and you can see the uh, little ridges there that form the, the root and on the other side it's just uh, flat okay continue some more up oh, there's a shark tooth and it's got you can see the nutrient groove right at the middle of the root and that, that get it that's a pretty big tooth oh we got it got it okay and moving on, what else we got here? Ooh, look at that. another, guess what? Another ray tooth. Another one! Yeah, so let's see if we can get that. Shaped a little bit different than the others. You know, they aren't all exactly the same shape, but you can definitely see those two little root things sticking down. Okay, and grab that. Put it in our collection bag box. And we'll look, take another look at it later with higher magnification. Okay, what else we got? Ah, oh, there's a shark tooth. Right, 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 right end. What else we got? Uh, we're gonna grab that shark tooth. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, there's enough of it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Grab that shark tooth and a uh, piece of sand when they come along for the ride. Funny how green is the sand look you know, like little pieces of glass broken up. And what else? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nothing there. Looking. Shark tooth. There it is. Lots of shark teeth. Yeah, this is broken up quite a bit, but yeah, the blade's intact. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, there we go. Another shark tooth right in the middle. That's interesting because it's a short blade. Oh, what we got here? Oh, look at there. That is not a shark tooth. That is a conical tooth from who knows where that's from. That could be from a fish. Could be from some other small animal. I'm guessing fish, but it's a interesting. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. There. Let's get rid of that sand. And get that little tooth. Interesting little tooth. Okay, put that away. What else we got? I see the spiral snail shell there. That's an interesting shell. Uh, well, it's a it's a uh, a mold. It's a mold of a shell. Some kind of a flat snail. Flannerbella or something like that. So it's some kind of a flat snail shell. Probably salt water since all of this is salt water here. So it wouldn't be Plannerbella because Plannerbella I believe is freshwater. But it's some kind of a planer looking. Oh, what we got here? Oh, that is definitely a drum tooth. Well, drum, I, I, the bigger ones are drum teeth. This is a, a, a kind of a crushing tooth. You know, you get a, you end up with a, 
uh, the palate being covered with these little crushing teeth. And yeah, there we go, another shark tooth. Yeah, let's go at it. Shake it, shake it. Well, so shake it up another with another tray. Let's shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. Okay, look at that. Let's see what we got here. Is that a, and right away, is that a, another one of those little crushing teeth? Yeah. Yeah, I guess a shell cracker or something, you know, a little grim looking fish have these crushing teeth. Yeah, definitely is one. You can see that ring shaped root. Come on, let's get it. Trying to flip it over so you can see it. Ah! It's jumping away from me. Hard dealing with this tiny little thing. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Got it. Yeah, ready. What else we got in this thing? Oh, there's a shark tooth right at the very top. Shark! Am I gonna notice it? Yeah. See the other side. Yeah, it's a pretty good shape. It's got a little ridge along the root. I'll be able to identify that. And what else we got here? We got anything? Nah, not really. Uh, how about this? That's kind of interesting looking. Yeah, let's see what the other side looks like. Ugh. Got yeah, hard to flip over. You would say I should get a pair of, you know, some something smaller, but you know, this is the tip of a of a toothpick. It's pretty small. That's an interesting looking thing. No idea what that is, but I like those that, 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 uh, those ridges on there. They look in, really interesting. Maybe I'll find it's a piece of something later on. For now, then let's just try to pick it up. Here we go. That's what a tweezers look like, magnified. All right, there's a teeny little tooth, teeny little shark tooth. Let's grab that. And what else can we find? Ah, oh, there's another one of those leaves, uh, the uh, cedar leaves. Look like little drops of water flowing down a pipe. I got that. Let's see, there's something in there. Mm, a couple things I'm gonna look at. Oh, that looks like that's definitely another little teeny weeny uh, uh, stingray tooth. Well, there we go. There's a shark tooth. I see it. That black shark tooth right in the middle to the left now. Being covered up by that big brown chunk of stuff. Yeah, that's a nice little tooth. Gather yeah, another shark tooth. It's a shark tooth. It's not a Lagodon tooth that we're looking for, but it's a shark tooth. And we really want to get a Lagodon tooth that has the, that's just got the bunny rabbit ears. Okay, and hell of this paw. That's definitely another uh, ray tooth. So many of these things. Because rays had hundreds of these in their mouth. And, and when they when they died, they left, they died in the muck. In the Rubbish, filth, slime, muck. The bottom, and so they were thrown to be fossilized a lot easier than other fish. Oh, there's another one of those uh, teeth, uh, oh, crushing teeth from a f small fish. There we go, there we got it. Yeah, so flip it over, you can see how smooth it is on the other side. <laughs> and then the bottom has that little root looking thing. Ah, where'd it go? Ah! Oh, where did you go? Am I gonna lose you? Ah, there you are. No, that's not it. The bottom is lower, lower. Look lower. There you go. Right in the middle of the picture. Uh, got it. Take it away before you lose it again. Okay, next. Let's go oh, here. Right off the bat, another shark tooth. And it's got the nutrient root and a nice root and the blade is intact, so it's a pretty good shape. 
not bad. Missing just a little bit of the root. Pretty good. So flip it over out there. We'll flip it over so we can see the other side. Good. And it has that little cusp on the left as well. And there's another shark tooth in the middle. I'm going to ignore that. Eh, probably. And am I going to get it? Eh, it's just easy to pick up. I'll save that for later. Okay. What else? Another shark tooth. Oh my gosh. More shark teeth. There are so many sharks. Okay. We're going to have just a, a bunch of shark teeth and a bunch of ray teeth. <laughs> few other odd items. This was pretty polished up. And all the detail is really gone, but you can still see it's a shark tooth. And okay, oh, I wanted to look at that and it jumped. There it is. Ah, look at that. It's another uh, cedar leaf rabbit. This another phobin myth to see if it was another uh, ray tooth. And, oh, look at this. This is odd. It looks like it's made out of amber, but it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a nice, clear, probably chert. Maybe made of chert or something like that. Uh, from the, being dissolved. And, uh, uh, probably not chert. Probably, uh, oh, what do you call that? Uh, well, anyway, uh, that's beautiful. Uh, another shark tooth. I had to grab that as the nutrient grew and a piece of the piece of the root. Ooh, a big tooth. Shake it up, shake it up. Oh, they got it right off the bat. It's a, it's a piece of pavement tooth. Now this is a little different shape. It has the root off sort of to the side of the flat surface. And it's ray pavement tooth. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little odd thing at the top. Uh, I'm not sure. I have no idea what that is. Is it going to be another ray tooth? It's just odd looking. Let's have to get, grab it and look at it later. We may never figure out what it is. And it's, it's an interesting little rock. So, is that another? Yeah, that's another pavement, ray tooth, not a pavement tooth, but ray, the teeth on the lip. Uh, what is that chunk? Yeah, there's a little sharp tooth. We'll just leave it there. Uh, what else we got here? That's odd looking piece of rock. I think that's all it is, just a piece of rock. Uh, another shark tooth there. And, uh, uh, I'll grab it, why not? Uh, it's got some serrations on it, a little bit of detail. Mm, what else? Let's see. Looks like something in the middle right. What is that? It's just an odd shaped piece of rock. Very shiny. And there's a little shark tooth next to it. We'll ignore those. Oh my gosh, there's the quintessential ray tooth. <laughs> That's definitely a ray tooth there. Oh, and right next to it, just about as a, ah, let's go get that ray tooth. Oh, there it goes, the underside. So we'll grab the ray tooth and then go back and get that ray pavement tooth. We can get this thing. Come on. Come on. Then wet the tip again. There we go. Come on. Give it. Give it. Gotcha. Now let's go get that ray pavement tooth now. Right there. That's shaped just like the other one was. The flat surfaces on the, you know, the top edge and then the root extends off to the side. Grab that. So, what else we got here? Let's see 
There's oh, look at there. Another, yet another ray tooth. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. Let's look at another tray. What do we got? Oh, right off the bat. What is that at the top? Is that another ray tooth? <laughs> yeah, it appears to be some kind of, it's an odd shaped one. Yeah, let's save that. That's, that's weird. Wonderful, weird stuff. Something with, uh, no, we may, you know, years from now, we may see that in a book and say, oh, I got one of those. Let's go see if I can find that. And here we got another ray tooth. There it is. Yeah, what? Those ray teeth now. Let's see if I can find it now. Yeah, there it is. Didn't go far. And over to the right, that is the, the blade of the shark tooth. But we'll just leave that. It's only the blade. Shark tooth glowing at the top center. Yeah, light, the lights are just reflecting right off of that thing. And there's another shark tooth right in the middle. Okay, we're getting shark teeth and we're getting ray teeth. Where are the Lagadon teeth? Want to see that bunny rabbit shape? For now, we'll save this. Here we go. And the next tray. Okay. Now there's the shark tooth right off the bat. And I guess there's probably enough to keep. And it's wet the tip of that toothpick. Ooh, carry it away. Come on. There we go. Ah, didn't want to come. There, gotcha. Gotcha. And we got here. Hmm. Oh, there we have another ray tooth. <laughs> okay, and there's another ray pavement tooth. There's this a smooth top and then the underside will be like a syrup. Series of, of rows of uh, you know, um, form the uh, root. Yeah, that. Oh, here's another little conical shaped tooth. Look at that thing. And there you can see the root. Uh, uh, it's got sort of a round little bulb and it's got a little hole in the end. So you got to. So that does not look like a fish tooth. That looks like the tooth of a small animal. So, there we go, got it. We'll look at that later, a little higher magnification. And what we got here. No, oh, that's just a odd looking thing. Looks like it's probably a tooth. Got a little root and a little round top. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful tooth. That again looks like it's made of amber. Did I skip it? Oh no, don't skip it. Am I gonna go back and get it? I'm gonna see it later. I'm gonna grab this tooth, but it's nothing special. Go back and get that tooth. Did I miss that thing? Did I, am I not going to get that that beautiful tooth we just saw? Oh, yeah, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to get this. Let's see if I go back and get that tooth. I don't think I'm going to. There's a beautiful amber-looking tooth. Oh, you just passed up. Oh, Jewia. I missed it. Ah, it just goes to show I don't catch everything. Jeez. Okay. Another worn out tooth. And there's another 
pavement tooth down in there. And I can get that. Yeah, another pavement tooth. Man, I don't believe I missed that beautiful amber shark tooth. Ugh, oh well. Not the first thing I've missed, I'll tell you what. But it's out of the heat, out of the it's out of my garden now, so I'll never find it. So you're the only person, you you watching this and me, are the only ones to have ever seen that, that shark tooth. It was magnificent, but then it was gone. Oh, I'm gonna just flip that over. So, flip it again, keep flipping that thing. There we go, there's the other side. Beautiful too, you can tell the serrations there. Beautiful shape. Look at that. Almost had it. Come on, get, get, get. Grab it. Wet that tooth for. Oh, you got it. You got it. All right, what else we got here? Oh, look at that tooth. That's another beautiful amber tooth. Don't miss this one, Ed. Okay, there it is. Beautiful. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beautiful because I think it's. Probably it might be calcite, that orange uh, uh, blade on there. Looks just gorgeous though. The black blade and the or or black uh, root and the orange blade. There's be another sharp tooth at the bottom of the picture, but I skip over that. Yeah. And there it is, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, my God, nah, that's just the blade. Okay, oh, there's another tooth. And if, I, if that was bigger, I'd say it was an alligator tooth. But this is pretty tiny. You know, the, it's the size of the tip of a toothpick. So it could be a little baby alligator, I guess. Oh, here's something cool. That looks like in the bottom middle, that looks like a fish spine. You know, that's those, you know, when you pick up a fish and he sticks you with his. Uh, that sharp spine sticking up out of his skin, that's what they look like. It's their little bone attachment, they attach to a rib bone, and then they, uh, then they stick out of the fish. They sting you. There you go, got it. Oh, almost had it. Let's grab it out, grab everything else. Oh, that wet too thick. There we go. That's cool. Focus there, I can't really see the detail on the other side. I'm trying to see the ah I can see the detail of the other edge, but it's hard to move. Can't really maneuver it. Now we'll just look at later. Okay, anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at there on the upper left, there's another another nice little tooth. Little fang or something. So you can see that one has that root on it too. Yeah, what else? I'm still looking for that lagodon, that little rabbit eared lagodon tooth. I'm finding everything but a little shark tooth. Teeny little shark tooth. And oh, what is this? It's a lagodon tooth. That's what we're looking for, the little rabbit ears. That's it, Lagodon! We yeah! found you! There we go, we'll put you in our little bin. <laughs> Alright, we'll finish looking at this tray and then that'll be it. I hope you enjoyed our microfossil adventure. If you had fun and learned something interesting, please hit the like button. Don't forget to like and subscribe! If you'd like to see more Papa's Adventures, just press the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing, and it helps others to see my videos. I've attached about 10 more minutes of video after the end, where I scan through all the fossils I found today at higher magnification. Please let me know in the comments section if you find this useful. I hope I've shown you don't always have to take a trip out into the wild to find adventure. 
Sometimes it can be found in a small corner of your home. Wherever adventure finds you and invites you to play, just say yes. yes! Okay, here we are looking at the high magnification at the fossils that we found during this uh, search for Lagodon teeth. I don't know what this big long brown thing is, but uh, it's very interesting. I'll just keep an eye out for things similar to it and uh, see if I ever see something like that. It looks like maybe a long bone or something. That's a beautiful tooth. That, uh, not sure what kind, it looks kind of like a, uh, a, a tiger shark. That looks just like, uh, oh, the, what is that? That sharp nosed shark maybe on the left, that tiny one. And then here we see that uh, uh, ray tooth, that bike, bicycle sheet, uh, seat shape. Uh, next to that, there's Oh, there you can see the underside, you can see the little root right there on the top, the wide side of the bicycle seat. This thing is really interesting. No idea what it is. But I don't really see what it could possibly be. I'll just keep watching and keep checking out. There's another uh, a, a little different shape for a uh, uh, stingray tooth. See those long roots on the bottom there. Uh, yet another, oh wait, this is the, uh, I think this is the crushing tooth, uh, yeah, that's the top, and then you go underneath, and that's the sort of the root where it would attach to the uh, palate of the mouth, and it makes kind of a, uh, a crushing plate with little round circles in it. Uh, there's yet another, on the left is a, uh, another uh, ray tooth little different shape. They come all different shapes. You can imagine there's hundreds of these uh, teeth on each uh, uh, ray. Let's flip it over, see the other side. Yeah, very interesting shape. The, there may be some way to assign these to a specific species, but I don't, I'm not that far along. And yet another, uh, you know, sort of a uh, normal shape of a, of a shark tooth, and then there's a there's another shark tooth, mostly root, uh, pushing around a uh, what I believe is another uh, ray tooth that's worn quite a bit. You know, that bottom, the enamel sort of surface is sort of worn off of the root there. That, that still remains on the top. That's that shark tooth, mostly root. The blade is on the right. So, yeah, it's an interesting tooth because it's a, so the blade is so short compared to the size of the uh, root. And there's another shark tooth with a little cusp off to the side. I imagine there's a ma matching cusp on the other side of the. Uh, <laughs> I feel we're on the cusp of a real breakthrough, lad. ...of the tooth, but it's worn off or broken off. And let's see, there's that brown thing. I don't know what that is. It's just interesting. Yeah, there it is. Man, very, I don't know. It, it's reminiscent of a ray tooth. Whoop, there was that jumping ray tooth. Where did it go? Uh, maybe never find it. That piece of, uh, oh, well, what? Uh, piece of limestone. Okay, here's that uh, inter really interesting and uh, symmetric uh, uh, leaf, uh, cedar leaf uh, sec uh, fragment. Really interesting shapes. You can see the bicycle shape. Yet another uh, ray tooth. This is really interesting. Some conglomerate of round pebbles, but maybe a, a 
another uh, fish palate, you know, crushing thing. Here's another tooth. The little white dots in there are just reflections of the two lights. So don't get too excited about that. And moving that around. I think I was throwing that away because it's just, it didn't appear to be a, a crushing tooth. Now that one does appear to be one. I flip it over, there should be some not just smooth. Oh yeah, that, that's got a definite shape to it. Look at that. And then there's that thing. What the heck? It's so weird. That is pretty cool looking now, but it's mudstone that's been shaped and taken on that shape. There's another sharp tooth with a cusp off on the side. There's that thing. It looks like a cockroach belly or something like that, but I'm sure that's not what it is. A couple more uh, 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 crushing teeth, and then there's that Lagodon tooth in there. You know, that it's assigned to Lagodon. It doesn't have the bunny ears, but almost does. You can see it. It's, it has the raised areas on both sides, and the middle is a little hollowed out. So I think I think there's been uh, some assignment of this to Lagodon as well. But maybe not. Who knows? Uh, interesting tooth. I think I'm moving that around. What am I doing? Okay, more shark teeth, and then that uh, that one right there, a uh, black one, and the brown one next to it, I'm near the bottom. Um, uh, do not appear to be shark teeth. They appear to be the teeth of some other critter that had little pointy teeth. Some seizing teeth, maybe from a fish, maybe from some other small creature. Yeah, I think that right there, that's interesting. Is that serrations on the edge? I don't know. Or is that just the way the light's hitting it? Yeah, that's tubular. And you can see the root on the bottom. Pretty distinctive. The tip seems to be broken off or worn off. Interesting uh, little tooth there. Yeah, don't know. They say it looks a lot like a kind of like an alligator tooth, but very small. Oop, what's going on? There we go. And that one looked really like an alligator tooth. But, uh, and quite worn. And this, what did I think this one was? Oh yeah, look at that. So cool. Look at this, it's just oddly colored, but that's another little crushing tooth from a fish. Uh, okay. This, what in the world? Flip it over, maybe the other side make, gives me a clue. It kind of looks like a uh, ray uh, pavement tooth. I think that's I think that's probably what it is. Yeah, I think that's a ray pavement tooth, but just a little a different shape from the regular sort of rectangular shape. It's a couple of worn sharp teeth. Oh, and this one's not worn hard. Oh, there's there's that uh, ray uh, tooth again, right in the middle, and and to its uh, yeah. But there, that's a beautifully preserved tooth. Look at all the nice serrations, the nutrient groove on the root. Flip that over, see what the other side looks like. Maybe. Beautiful tooth, though. We could probably classify that one if I, if, you know, if you know what kind of a tooth it is, let me, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, yeah, very interesting tooth. I, yeah, that's very classifiable. Yeah, let's see, we got, oh, there's another thing, a tooth that's mostly rooting with a very small uh, uh, blade. Those are often found on the back of the mouth and the cheek, and they call them cheek teeth. You know, very uh, way in the back, the, the blades are often very small. There's another, uh, the, the light tan, the, the uh, uh, cedar leaf. 
And here's a, this is an interesting tooth right here. Yeah. Yeah, look at the shape of that thing. That's bizarre. Shark tooth. Very eroded shark tooth. There's another nicely preserved tooth. It looks like the same as the other one, same species perhaps. Uh, yeah, well, the, it doesn't have the uh, serrations along the edge, so I take that back. It, this has smooth uh, edges on the blade. That that looks like a, uh, uh, I just passed it, but that's okay. Uh, looks like coral to me. That reminds me of coral. A couple more. Uh, there's a shark tooth on the right, and then this uh, this uh, spine on the left. So you often see these, you know, sticking up off, uh, you know, to make, you know, on a fish. Yeah, it might have this little spike sticking up on the, by the dorsal fin. So I'm trying to get another angle on it, but it just didn't want to come up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a good angle. Not sure what to make of it, though. Interesting look, though. Ah, piggybacking and yet another uh, cedar leaf. There's a couple, there's a whole bunch of uh, ray teeth. Ah, there it went, went flying. Let's see. It's like a deep nutrient groove in that uh, shark tooth right there. There's, you know, ah, barracuda tooth. Barracuda! That is a barracuda tooth. Tiny little barracuda. They have a very distinctive shape. Uh, so, and they're sort of flat. Yeah. So we can see if I can flip it over. It looks, you know, they're not tubular. They're more, they're more of that shape on, on both sides. So, uh, and, uh, back there. What else we got? Oh, there's this thing. Oh, I think this was looked like pavement tooth on the other side. When you flip it over, you can identify it. Right now, it just it's hard to identify. Yeah, definitely pavement tooth. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I got you. That ray tooth. Oh, and then this thing it looks like a tulip or a lotus or something like that. It's just a really extraordinary shape. Uh, that's a look around see if I can find what the heck that is and, okay we're back to these things rave pavement too this is the kind that has the flat surface you see it on the left and then the root goes off to the side uh, ray teeth again those deep roots there another ray tooth another ray tooth uh, and then uh, oops a pavement tooth fragment Am I running out of fossils? Oh, look at this. I love the colors of that thing. And there's definitely a repeated shape on that thing. Not sure what the heck it is. It looks like uh, uh, cookies and cream. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what it is though. It's very interesting, very pretty. I'm see if I can flip it over. I think the other side looks exactly the same. Yeah, that is the other side. The pattern is different, but it's it's definitely interesting. Look at this oh, beautiful amber-colored uh, shark tooth. Nice, nice. Uh, and there's maybe enough of it to identify it down to a species. Okay, and we're back to the. We've been there before. Been there before. I think we might be done. Let's see, just about, yep. One more little scan, beautiful tooth, beautiful. Maybe I can get that identified and put it in the comments. Don't know, if you can, let me know. Thanks for watching to the end. It's nice to know all my work isn't wasted. Please let me know this in the comments section and let me know if I should do this in future episodes. So long till our next adventure.